Hi, and welcome to Curbside Pickup. This program is being offered by the Digital Services Department of the Niles Main District Library. My name is Ruth Schuster, and I'll be your host. Now, some version of order and delivery has been in use for a lot of years. In the last century, actually, between 1908 and 1940, the Sears Roebuck Company did a curbside delivery of houses. Well, all the materials for building a house were delivered in a kit when people ordered them from a catalog. But you know what I mean. People have been ordering all sorts of stuff from catalogs, stores, businesses, restaurants, and even online for quite some time. Now, today's curbside pickup is a variation on that. It does require some technology. And maybe you wonder why you would want to use curbside or what's called contactless pickup. Or it could be a convenience or it could be a necessity based on what your particular situation is. It can be time saving if you order and just pick up. You don't have to deal with a group of other shoppers. You don't stand in line to pay. It's just all available for you. But perhaps the biggest reason to use it is to limit contact with other people during the pandemic. People who are at high risk or who live with others that are at high risk can use this curbside pickup system to limit contact. And healthcare workers or anyone who works away from their home can use it to limit contact with other people. And the fewer in-person contacts all of us have can help us all stop the spread of COVID-19. What can you get curbside? Hmm? Actually, a lot of stuff. You can get your groceries. Obviously, we can do restaurant takeout and prescription medicines. And even big retailers are offering items that you can get, like Target, Joanne Fabrics has curbside pickup, the Home Depot, World Market, Walmart, all sorts of big stores are offering curbside pickup. And don't forget, your favorite libraries are probably offering curbside pickup. The Niles Main Library certainly is. Now I do want you to recognize something that buying online and picking up in the store is not curbside pickup. That is a different situation and it is not a zero contact type of operation because it requires you to enter the store. You may have to wait in a line. You may or may not be able to pay in advance. And you may also require an ID, which means you maybe have to get things in and out of a wallet, lots possibility of a lot more touching of surfaces. So once again, buying online and picking up in the store is not the same. What are the basic steps for using curbside pickup? It's fairly simple. You shop, you place your order, you wait for a message of some sort to tell you your order's ready, and then you get yourself to the store to get your materials. You're gonna need some things in order to be able to do a curbside pickup though. You do need some type of electronic device like a smartphone, a tablet, or a computer. And on those, you may be needing to use an app or you may be able to use a website. You probably will need an email account. Obviously, you have to have transportation or some type of vehicle to get to, get to the um, business. And don't forget, we're doing this for safety. Wear your face mask. Now, the big question, again, of course, is what stores are going to offer this curbside contest plus pickup? The best thing to do is to check online and see if your retailer restaurant offers curbside pickup. Then read the details of their website. See what they're telling you about how to do this particular process. Look and see if there are any fees in front so you know what you're spending. And if you don't see your favorite shop here and you know they're open for business, call them and ask. Even if they might not be open for the public to come into the store, they may be more than willing 
to fill an order for you. And if you know them really well, you might be perfectly comfortable with giving them your credit card over the phone. They can set up your order, put it at the door, and the minute you appear at their door, they set it outside. Just ask, it doesn't hurt. So do you know, how do you know if you need an app or if you need a website? It kind of depends on the particular business you're dealing with and the device you're on. If you're using a tablet or a cell phone, you're gonna use an app. If you're on a computer, you can use a website. Sometimes both of these things are available and my recommendation, use the one that's easiest for you. Just choose that way. Now, I've managed to find a couple of websites that I thought did a fair, good, fair job of explaining what this process is like. This is the Coles website, and I captured this picture from them. It's, um, I'm going to point at some things on my screen here. So you can see that it says limited contact store drive up hours. They're telling that you, they start at 11 a.m. and run till 8 p.m. every day, but that those store hours may vary by location. And on this page on the web, the word here is a link to click on because you can click there and then find if your favorite store in your neighborhood's available. So let's look at the steps. Step one, order online. It says, need it fast? Choose free store pickup when you add the items to your cart or click on that when you're in the checkout version. Now, the next step is it says, watch for an email. So once you've gotten your pickup email, so you have to have that email ad address in your order, you'll be able to get your message and they'll tell you that it's ready and you can go to a designated drive up parking space. So if you look at this, pull into one of the designated drive up parking spaces and have your email ready. So there you go. Check in and stay in your car. Okay, this is telling you that you don't even get out of your car. Well, except maybe to flip the trunk lid. And when you tap on a message that says, I'm here, and they'll come out with your order. Let's look at another one. This one is from REI Co-op. And they're trying to give us a really relaxed attitude. They say, relax until your order is ready. And they also have the store finder on their page. So you can click there to find out what address you can go to, to shop your favorite REI or one nearby. And they remind you that you will get an email with store specific pickup instructions because not all their stores have curbs. So they're going to tell you where you're going to, park your vehicle in order to get what you want. They also tell you what you need to bring, your order confirmation email and a photo ID. So you can get your order with zero contact and observe social distancing. The, it's been my experience when using curbside pickup, when you have to display these items, the store employee comes to the driver's side window and you just hold the items up into your window so they can view them. Uh, Home Depot also has a curbside pickup and they say to use store pickup option on the product page or in your cart. So once again, you have two places to, to get to curbside pickup. You're gonna tell them you wanna pick it up. And once your order is processed, so you don't go to the store right away, you wait until they send you a message, you get an email or a text, but you know it's available to pick up. Then they tell you to go to the designated curbside location at the Home Depot store. And then you make a phone call that's included in the email message or text message that you've gotten to let them know that you're waiting and ready to get your order. The Meyer company, has changed the name of their curbside pickup. They now call it Meyer Pickup. But I like this website because it did show us right away that it, the pay per order fee is right here, $4.95 for pickup. And it says they don't mark up their items. You get the same price, you just pay the fee. And you don't have to be a member, but you do have to sign in 
to Meyer.com. So it's not like you're a member of a, a special group with them and you don't pay, pay any additional uh, membership fees, but you do pay a fee for your pickup. And then you, it, it's reminding us that we shop from available items and select a pickup time when you go to checkout. So that's something I wanted to mention, and that is that not everything a store sells may be available for curbside pickup. You'll need to pay attention to that. And then once again, Meyer tells us to pick up the order at a designated store pickup area. Sam's Club had a lot of details about how to use their curbside pickup, and I like that a lot. They say the curbside pickup at Sam's is gonna work like Walmart. So if you've shopped Walmart, you already understand it. And um, you can select an available pickup time. So you tell the store when you are going to come. They'll give you a list of times and you choose one. And members can shop using either the Sam's Club app or the website. And once again, it's reminding you that there are eligible products. So once again, everything that Sam's Club sells may not be available for curbside pickup. Now, evidently the Sam's Club has something called plus members. So it might be like the, uh, corresponding to Costco's executive membership. It's probably an association that, well, if you're a member of Sam's Club, you know what it is. But plus members are able to schedule curbside pickup orders early in the day between seven and eight and they give us all the other times they're available and it says stores will have designated pickup parking spots and a store associate will load items into the cars so we stay in our car and we are socially distanced there is always the question of payment so how are we going to pay for this stuff if we're not going in the store well, we can use online, we can use our credit cards or debit cards. And in some cases, especially if you're dealing with a, a really smaller business, you might use a different type of app. You might use Apple Pay, uh, which you set up on a smartphone. I believe Google Pay is also available and that you just have to find out what your retailer accepts. The Zelle is an a service that's available directly through your bank. One that uh, is very good to use, it's if your bank offers it because it just, you authorize payment directly from uh, an account that you have at the bank. Venmo is more like, a, what do we call that? Uh, a social website, but it allows payments between people who both have Venmo accounts. And the square has been around for a long time. That's often the little square reader that we would see in the past that someone could literally plug into a smartphone or a tablet, but they also offer online payments. Once again, just check and see what your business is using. Now, when you pick up, the best way to do this is to be organized before you go. So what I've discovered is that I wanna have all these things together so I'm not having a long interaction with anyone when I'm picking up my stuff. I have my ID available. If my materials have an order number, I know what my order number is. In some cases, like I've seen on the Walgreens pickup, they'll actually give you a QR code that'll show up on your smartphone or tablet and uh, you may need the phone number that was used for ordering. Now that might seem like a no brainer and I know what my phone number is, but when I'm picking up curbside pickup food that someone else has ordered, it's on their phone number. And I don't necessarily know people's phone numbers because these days I dial by name. So be certain you have the right phone number. You may need to show a credit card. Usually you don't have to use it, but once again, bring your face mask. So if you're gonna use this, is there a way to really make it easy? And this is what I've discovered. I, when it came to groceries, I made a master list. And 
if I'm doing a project and I want to order things from, say, Michael's or Joanne's, I make a project list and I pay attention to when I'm ordering items, what quantity or size am I getting? For example, if I'm ordering groceries and I want a can of tomatoes, I need to be certain that I'm getting the 14 ounce can and not the 26 ounce can if that's the size I want. Same with um, the stuff that's not food. If you want a package of snacks, maybe you only want 10 instead of 100. So look carefully at those kinds of numbers. And remember that our online shopping pickup curbside isn't like walking through the store. We don't have the spontaneity of thinking, oh, yes, I need that. Oh, yes, we need this to go with that. And you just kind of interact with the things you see on the shelves, and we don't have that type of experience when we're doing our online shopping. That's where I found making my master list is most helpful because I only get what I order, and on occasion, I don't get all of that because there'll be a note with the materials I pick up and said, sorry, this item wasn't available. And so we don't know it necessarily, even though it may show up and look like it's available online or in the app. When you get home, you may not have it because it just wasn't in stock when the shopper put it in your shopping basket. Be flexible. That's the best I can advise. And the biggest thing is don't worry. And remember, if you have some kinds of questions, well, other people probably do too. If you're really stumped, call your store and ask if they can help you out. Remember that they want to satisfy you. Your satisfaction is important for their business. They really do want to help you. So if you have a problem using a web or an app site, a lot of times, it's like all those little electronic things when it isn't responding, if you can go back or restart it, it'll, it can clear things up. Often I've discovered that my shopping cart is intact. Everything that I wanted to order is already listed there. But when I went to click the checkout button, it wasn't responsive. But by going back or literally going back into the app all over again, everything woke up and I was able to use it. The other frustrating thing can be that what if you don't see any pickup times? I was shopping groceries and found that there just weren't any pickup times. So I kept reading on the website and it said, more times will be available later. Check in with us. So I kept everything in my cart and then I went back online and looked a few hours later to see if more shopping times were available. And I've found now that as the pandemic has progressed, the retailers have gotten much better at finding availability for pickups. And the biggest thing I would say is be patient and mostly with yourself because it can be a learning curve. But talk to your friends and maybe you'll be the one who gets so good you'll be able to order groceries for everybody on your block. In any case, Enjoy safe and happy shopping with curbside pickup.